Well, it seems like the past couple of weeks we've actually been seeing some strong to severe thunderstorms across the United States and now seeing this strong upper level low pressure system moving across the northern plains. And in fact, take a closer look and actually seeing some of the blizzard conditions, winter weather more in towards parts of North and South Dakota. Again, seeing those areas in red, plenty of heavy snow in that banding area just further towards the south, actually in towards parts of Iowa, Illinois, and northern Missouri, actually seeing a tornado threat in parts just to the east of or it's just to the west of I-35 as some of these supercells developing in towards parts of Iowa. Again, a lot of energy in with that system. And at the very tail end of it, well, that's where we're starting to see that cooler air work its way in towards the state of Texas. That's going to see that cold front make its arrival through the overnight hours. Still just looking at mostly cloudy conditions for us here in the Concho Valley. And we've been seeing those cloudy conditions. Didn't stop our temperatures all that much. And again, the winds have been out of the southwest, gusting up to 30 miles per hour at times. Still have uh, those wind advisories and warnings in place uh, for, the re for the next couple of hours. In fact, 90 degrees in downtown San Angelo, dew points into the mid-30s, 36 degrees. And those winds out of the southwest right now at 22 miles per hour. Plenty of cloud coverage as we look out at our cactus camp. Temperatures across the area well above average into the 80s and 90s. Way too warm for our penguin. And temperatures 91 here in San Angelo, 90 in Mertzen, 88 in Big Lake, and again 88 for Brady as well. As we see those temperatures running about 10 degrees above average. So we'll see a bit of a cool down as that cold front makes its arrival. Temperatures drop down into the 40s. So 47 your overnight low, mostly cloudy skies. And those winds will start to begin to take a bit of a break out of the southwest, gust up to 35 miles per hour, calming down as we go in towards your Wednesday. Again, that cold front making its presence known much cooler. Temperatures pretty comfortable into more like spring-like weather as the, into those low 70s. 71 for your afternoon high. We'll still hang on to some of those clouds thanks to that frontal system as it pushes across the state of Texas. Do have those wind warnings in effect for the next couple of hours and again until about 10 p.m. That's when we'll see these gusty winds begin to kind of die down. And as a result, we'll see those wind, wa wind warnings expire uh, once we get past sunset for the most part. Those winds will continue to settle down as we get into the overnight hours, but by early Wednesday, turning more out of the north, cooling us off, and then they'll start to take a bit of a break as we get in towards Wednesday as well. So again, calming those winds down for the second half of the week, as well as we'll see those temperatures calm down as well. Seeing those 90s for us basically right now into the evening hours. Well, that's when we start to see that cold front make its arrival. Basically through the early morning hours, drags across the Concho Valley. We'll see that cold front move through through the early morning hours. And that's going to set us up for some much cooler temperatures as we get into the afternoon hours on Wednesdays. Highs really only getting into those 60s and 70s. And so we're going to hang out with those cooler temperatures as we go in towards the weekend as well. Just in time for your Easter Day plans again for the weekend. 60s and 70s for the next couple of days. We'll start to see those temperatures begin to increase just slightly as we get back into the 80s for next week.